What is the crack lads and welcome back to another player review. Today we're taking a look at the Juventus player selection which are Vlahovic, De Maria, Bremer, Chesney, Locatelli, Rabio, Banucci and McKenny. So this is obviously Paimont as they are called because they lost the Juventus license and replaced with Inter, AC and Monza and the rest of the Serie A teams. Uh, but there are some good players in here. Obviously, Vlahovic is probably the best player here. But I will, I am going to show you guys a couple of GP alternative, alternatives as well over on eFootballDB.com. So we're going to start with Chesney. Obviously, he's probably the weakest of the lot in this team. Now, he has 21 levels. It's not going to be enough to boost him up. Genuinely, lads, you know, if you do spin him, I wouldn't even waste the... The, the trainer points on him to get him up that's just being 100% honest he does make a lot of mistakes even his standard card isn't that great so I don't see this card being any better to be 100% blunt unless you're a big Chesney fan um, I'm sure they're out there next up we have McKenny who is a fairly decent center midfielder he's a good box-to-box -box midfielder he does have standard form and he's on c rating which is a bit of a pity but he does have blocker and interception which i am going to be talking about at a later video or in a later video of just how important those player skills are um especially for a lot of the contextual stuff because they have kind of you know the, the defending i think is probably the easiest it's ever been you know for you to be a good defender in e-football or in any pez game i would say you'd have to go back to pez 21 one when it was early in the season of dream of my club that i think the defending is as easy as this it's it's pretty assisted um so i think those having the player skills now this guy does have 25 levels to go which isn't bad i mean you can get up his speed his acceleration and his passing quite high you can get him up to the mid 80s um and he does have some nice player skills but there's just so many better center midfielders out there at the moment that you you don't have to spend a lot of money on to actually get um you know a fairly beastly center midfielder Next up, Benucci, and he's pretty much in a similar position. His speed and his acceleration, his defensive awareness, kind of, I don't think it's strong enough. Now, obviously, he does. He is on a B rating. He does have standard form, but he does have interception, blocker, uh, low lofted pass, one touch pass, heading, way to pass. He's got excellent player skills, and you will see these skills um, even though, you know, player ID isn't fully formed in eFootball 23, you are going to see some of the players, like the older players, like Pepe, like Benucci, like PK, that they do have a way of just intercepting the ball and getting little nudges on the ball and little interceptions and stuff. So there is something in it there that the, the AI is kind of like tuned up to the max uh, to be aware of the game. You're not really going to suffer because of his lack of pace. But again, there's just so many better center backs there as I will be showing you guys in a couple of minutes for pretty much dirt cheap. I mean, literally like an hour of gameplay or two hours of gameplay doing all the events and you can pretty much buy um, a couple of the, of the beasts on the game. Uh, Rabio and Locatelli, we will take a better look at Lac Locatelli in a second over on eFootballDB, but Rabio again, he was meant to move to United during the summer transfer window, but he do didn't end up moving. He's staying. Juventus are in a really bad spot at the moment. They lost again the weekend. Um, they're really struggling at the moment as far as... I think they lost anyway. Did they lose or was it a draw? I'm not too sure. I think they lost. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. But yeah, the Frenchman, again, traditional box-to-box. -box. I've played with him a good bit on my second account, and I've played a lot with the France national team. Um, he, yeah, I mean, again, he's just falls into that category of you can use him and you can train him up quite well, but he doesn't really offer any mastery in any stats. Like his pass and his ball control is quite high. His low pass and his ball control and dribbling is very, very high. If you want to play him as a, a kind of a more attacking box to box, but there's just so many better players out there than him, in my opinion. Um, he does have a lot of player skills, but fighting spirit is obviously a good one. He doesn't have blocker. He is more of an attacking player, I would say. And there's just so many of those out there at the moment because the way the gameplay is, you can intercept people the same with Rabio as you would with Pedri or Gavi, you know, who are smaller base players. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so there is no real need for a big kind of dominant player in the in, in in the pitch at the moment. And then last but not least, we do have De Maria, who has always been one of the best players in Pez. He does have unwavering form. He is left-footed, which uh, as a right winger, it is nice. I mean, to be able to cut inside. I reviewed... Um, Anthony and I think I have Dembele up as my next review and you know players that are able to actually cut in on the opposite wing 
are very, very OP in this game, especially when you're defending against them. It's very hard to do so. Um, you know, the likes of Messi and stuff that can curl in finesse shots if you're good enough to do it. But look at his stats, man. 25 levels that he can go. Ball control, passing, and speed and acceleration all can go very, very high. But again, you do need to pick your poison if you are, depending on what play style you have. If you're playing like, you know, that you need fast wingers, De Maria isn't, isn't the man for the job. You need somebody that is actually rocket fast. But... I think De Maria's best position is AMF and he can link up everything. He's one of the best AMFs in the game. Um, check out my other video that I did where I have a couple of other guys that can fill that role as well for quite cheap. And his standard card, De Maria, is quite good as well. So we are going to focus now on Bremer, Locatelli and Vlahovic, who are the three guys we're going to be putting under the microscope a little bit and giving you a few options. So Bremer straight away, right? He's got unwavering form. Now he is on the D rating. That won't last forever, you would imagine. Um, this guy looks to be the real deal, right? He's got man marking, interception, sliding tackle and acrobatic clearance. He doesn't have blocker as a CB and he can only play CB, but he is 24 years of age. He's got a nice height. He's got a nice kind of aggression and physical contact, which you don't really need to uh, train up too much. What you're going to be focusing on there, if it was, you know, asking my advice, is his acceleration and his defensive awareness, right? Because most of the players that you want to have now in your squad need to just be a master of one thing, whether it's fast and, you know, able to play on the ball, um, or else, you know, if it's a defensive player, they need to have that high defensive awareness with a lot of player skills. Now, we'll be doing another video on that quite soon. But if we head over here to eFootballDB.com, we will see that Bremer does train up. Obviously, these player levels need to be slightly adjusted, which will be done later today um, on the website. But he does go up to a 92 overall, 72 speed, 74 acceleration. Header is 79, which is fine with his height. Physical context, 86. But here's where you kind of, he earns his keep, right? 90 defensive awareness, 93 aggression, 92 tackling. Very, 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 very good stats. Um, and again, he is one of these players that will definitely slot into your team. Uh, if he was on a farm, he would be an absolute beast. Now, as I always try to do, I do give an alternative here with GP. And I think that at the moment, Kunde is one of the best center backs in the game. He is on C rating at the moment, which is a bit of a pity. But 170,000 GP, just giving a quick glance at him. He outperforms Bremer in pretty much every stat that you would possibly want apart from obviously tackling and aggression um, and the physical contact side of things. But in terms of like the actual price point that you're getting him at and the speed and acceleration balanced with the defensive awareness, absolutely unbelievable. Next up, we do have Locatelli, who we are going to be comparing with his, pre his, his, uh, his normal version. So as you can see there, Locatelli there, he does have over his previous, his other version, he does have pretty much every stat an improvement of like two to three. So that's going to follow through the whole way. Now, there was another version of him released there, but he only had five levels. So he's not going to get to that level. He's only going to get to like the same level as the rest of the boys. Um, but his standard card is quite good. Locatelli here, as you can see, 78 acceleration, 77 speed, 80 ball control. Then the pass stats are quite high. The defensive awareness stats are quite good that you can train him up. His standard card is very similar for 100,000 GP. If you don't get him and you are a fan of Locatelli or you are trying to try him out before you spin um, or you've played with Locatelli I've seen people actually swear by him that he is a really good DMF I haven't really played with him too much maybe one or two games um but he'd say his stats definitely look good and he does have unwavering form as well so last but not least we do have Vlahovic who is probably the pick of the bunch right so uh over back here on the game we do have Vlahovic who I think is a very, very good player, lads. I think he is kind of eFootball 23's Cristiano Ronaldo. We are going to be comparing him with Ronaldo in a second, but looking at him from there, right, he's a goal poacher. He is on D rating, which is a bit of a pity at the moment, but that will change, you would imagine. He does have unwavering form, and straight off the bat there, without even touching any of his player progression, which does go to, I think he's at 25 levels or 21 levels. Yeah, 21 levels. So he's got 80 offensive awareness, He's got 82 finishing, 81 kicking power, and 82 physical contact. So those don't really need to be updated that much or up, you know, upgraded that much. He does have heading, long range, curler, knuckle, knuckle shot, dipping shot, first time shot, gamesmanship, and fighting spirit. So he is going to be a torn in any defense uh, defender side. 
But when we actually go back over here to his stats and see what he trains up to, he does go to a 94 overall at those 21 levels. 81 speed, 84 acceleration, 90 offensive awareness, which is unreal, 89 finishing, 80 ball control, 85 kicking power, and 82 physical contact. Now, obviously, we do need to train up his um, his play, play style proficiency, whatever you want, so you won't be able to probably get him up all these stats. But when we do compare him with Cristiano Ronaldo, who's 500,000 GP, you have a very similar kind of like layout for Cristiano Ronaldo's card, right? So you could buy Ronaldo, and I think with Ronaldo's ID and his player ID and stuff, even though it's not fully formed yet in eFootball 23, I think Ronaldo is still the pick here. Um, that he, Obviously, when he's on form or whatever, Ronaldo only has two forms, so he's a standard form, he's not on wavering form. But 80 speed, 80 acceleration, 90, 89 there, and then kicking power is higher, jump is higher, heading is better. His ball control is is pretty similar as well. So they've very, very similar stats. I think that Ronaldo is kind of um, the original Vlahovic or Vlahovic is the kind of new Ronaldo for eFootball Dream Team. So let me know what you guys think, whether you are going to spin or skip, lads. And I will be back quite soon with another video. A couple, couple of new ones coming, a couple of interesting ones coming that I've been working on for a while. A lot of editing gone into them and, and uh, research. So yeah, that is it for me. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe as we do try to get to that 20,000 subscriptions. And we do try to get to that 20,000 subscribers for a giveaway. So yeah, big giveaway. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.